Paint this image. Paint what? What image? The image you see before you. Paint this image exactly as you see it. <laughs> I am not a painter. You will take the assistance of an artist. Why do you tell me all this? I died once on the cross for the sins of mankind. Would you like me to die a second time? This image will serve as a warning and a blessing. This may sound strange to you now, but you will prepare the world for my final coming. They will think I'm crazy. <laughs> no one will believe me. Speak to your superiors. I will help them to hear you. <laughs> Men no longer behaved humanely. Countries waged war against each other out of greed. Humanity at war with itself is what pains God most. Does this soul not concern you? I died on the cross for this man. Do you wish him to perish without mercy? Recite the chaplet that I gave you to save mankind from the tyranny of the sin. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son. Eternal Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son. Good evening, Sister Mary. I was just here, and you were... Sister Mary? I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> It's all right. You were always my sister. Father of mercies, it is uncertain faith that your son who died on the cross was raised from the dead. We command our sister Faustina, whom you have called out of this world, into the company of saints, to be raised on the last day.
Amen. Amen. I feel certain that my mission will not come to an end upon my death, but will begin. Sister Faustina wrote in her diary. It truly did. She became a model of how to be merciful to others and an instrument of re-emphasizing God's plan of mercy to the world. Sister Faustina's devotion to the merciful Jesus spread fast, gaining many hearts. Her heroic virtues were proved and soon she will be on the road to sainthood. Chodziła tylko trzy lata. Jako szesnastoletnia dziewczyna opuściła rodzinny dom i poszła na służbę do elektrycznej... Bishop of Krakow outlined her rich and mystical spiritual life. All through her life, she aspired a full union with God. The Lord spoke to her directly for many years and gave her all the graces to spread the message and the devotion of the Divine Mercy. John Paul, in his homily on the day of her beatification on April 18, 1993, said, I salute you, Sister Faustina. Beginning today, the Church calls you blessed. O oh, Faustina, how extraordinary your life is. Precisely you, the poor and simple daughter of Mazovia, of the Polish people, were chosen by Christ to remind people of this great mystery of divine mercy. You bore this mystery of yourself. Inspired by the revelations received by Sister Faustina, John Paul II issued an encyclical, a public letter titled, God is Rich in Mercy, that defined mercy as love's second chance. After the attempt on his life and on his first pilgrimage outside Rome to the Shrine of Merciful Love, in Cola Valenza, Italy, the Pope emphasized that spreading the message of mercy was his special task. In lui, vincitore del peccato e della morte. On April 30, 2000, Pope John Paul II canonized Sister Faustina as the first saint of the great jubilee year of the birth of Christ and of the new millennium. The message she brought to the world has become linked forever to the 20th century, the last of the second millennium, right in the middle of the first and second world wars, and a bridge to the third millennium. She will be remembered forever as Saint Faustina, the Apostle of Divine Mercy.